Hello everyone, welcome to this video. In this video, we shall be looking at another concept which is used in studying more about the properties of bounded and unbounded self-adjoint linear operators, which is an important class of linear operators. So let's study about this topic of square roots of a positive operators. We have already studied about positive operators. So if you remember what are positive operators, any operator such that uh, the square its square when uh, when we take the inner product of its square term it is a positive quantity so the uh, in that case if that is so then we call this t as a positive operator this we already know right so we already know that if t is given to be a self adjoint operator in that case t square is a positive operator why because when we take the this inner product being self-adjoint this t could be shifted to this side without having the cross sign so that means basically in this case t cross is equal to t only and this is a positive quantity right the inner product of two things uh, two same things that is nothing but the norm square of the same thing and you know norm is a positive quantity so this is a positive quantity okay now we have uh, studied that self-adjoint operator is a positive operator but what about the reverse can we say when can we say any operator to be a self-adjoint operator whenever it is given to be a positive operator so that means we say that if t is given to be a positive operator in that case can we find a operator which is a self adjoint operator such that whenever we square it that is nothing but t itself the answer is yes we can do that and that is nothing but the square root of that positive operator right so that is nothing but the square root of that particular operator so that is the square root of a positive operator and we can also define this thing uh, formally so whenever we are given some linear operator t defined on some hilbert space h to the same hilbert space and that operator is given to be a positive operator a bounded operator self adjoint operator and moreover it has to be a linear operator then a bounded self adjoint and linear operator that is the square root of it when 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 we square that particular bounded self adjoint linear operator so that means whenever we say a square is equal to t and a is bounded linear and self adjoint then this a is nothing but the square root of the given operator t and moreover if this a is also a positive operator we call that square root to be a positive quantity just as we whenever we take the square root of any number that gives us plus or minus uh, square it's uh, it, it has two square roots any number any real number it has two square roots one is positive one is negative in a similar manner we can also talk about operators here we are calling positive square root of t whenever the given operator is also positive so that means when we take its inner product right when we take its inner product that is a positive quantity right and moreover the notation that we use here is uh, t raised to power 1 by 2 the usual notation that we use for numbers right in case of our linear operators we also use this uh, notation okay so now moving forward once we know what is a squ positive square root of any linear self adjoint bounded operator right so we have next we have this question that what can we say about the existence of this operator so can we say that the operator would exist under all conditions or but uh, in particular what are the conditions under which we are sure that this square root operator would exist and moreover if it exists what can we say that uh, what can we say about its uniqueness can we say that uh, we are able to find some another operator of the same kind having the same properties or is it the only operator of the same kind if there is another operator what are the properties and we can explore more about this operator so to answer these two questions here we have to answer them we have a theorem which uh, tells us about the uniqueness and existence of this positive square root existence and 
uniqueness of this positive square root operator right so here this theorem tells us that every positive bounded self adjoint and linear operator so a linear operator has to be positive it has to be bounded and it has to be self adjoint and it should be defined on complex hilbert space then we are sure that it has a positive square root and moreover this square root is unique in itself so that means once we are we have found one such positive square root there isn't any other right and moreover this operator a this square root operator which is positive square root this would commute with every bounded linear operator on h whichever uh, operator that you take from this hilbert space which is a bounded linear operator so this operator a would commute with it and but the condition is that that particular operator this particular operator should commute with t as well right if that is so we takes all uh, those bounded linear operators which commute with t then it is sure that this operator a which is the positive square root would commute with that operator as well so this is the property that we have studied and about the proof of this theorem we'll be looking at its proof in the next video so i hope you understood this concept of square root and positive square root well in this video well that is it for this video thank you for watching